today i'm going to show you how to create a interactive dashboard or interactive dynamic dashboard uh, just like that if and click to the uh, person name on my left side then all the data have been changes so all the information have been changes in here here so this is the interactive dynamic dashboard so i will create it this interactive dashboard and i will show you how to create it and how to uh, run it so let's start and make this interactive dashboard so here is all of the data <clears throat> before creating an interactive dashboard we need uh, uh, some background data so according to the data we will create a dashboard interactive dashboard so we need some uh, data uh, so here is uh, some of the data i have written in here so uh, i just click on the data and click uh, uh, the insert button firstly i have to create a uh, pivot table and uh, then uh, from this pivot table i will create an interactive dashboard so first of all i click on the inside of the data any any cell of this data so just click on this data and right click on the insert uh, and i will create a uh, click on the pivot table option so just click on the pivot table option and here the dialog box will be appeared according to the pivot table data range so from this data range i will create a pivot table in a new worksheet so in a new worksheet is uh, open so i click on the open button okay button then a new uh worksheet has been opened and uh, the pivot table option has been um, shown in here so just i uh, filter by the name of the salesperson just i uh right scroll down and uh it's a salesperson name in the filter options then the price will be appearing the values so uh drag and uh, scroll down to the uh, price in the value option then the product according to the product uh, i will be arrange all the information so uh according to the product or according to the company so i will arrange the data according to the company so the company will be added in row here so here is the data will be appear here the uh here is the product and here is the uh, prices the all product so how much apple have been sold out this this is the amount how much dale have been sold out this is the amount and how much uh, uh, product base we have been sold this amount is shown here so this is the private table from this private table i will create a interactive dashboard so it's very complex uh, uh, to explain uh, the amount and this amount is uh, how much uh, easy to explain it's very difficult to explain this uh, amount so ju just i want to show you how to explain this in a easiest way so i click on the sum of the price then i click on the right click on this amount then just i uh, click on the show value as and uh, from this show value as i just click on the percentage of column total when i click on the percentage of column total all the values of this uh, column are converted into the percentage but there is a uh, little bit problem still be alive in here uh, so there is a part sentence and there is a, a point so i just remove the point here it means i just uh, remove the decimal point from this here so just take i'll select all the data and right click on this data and click on the format cell when i click on the format cell a dialog box will be appeared in here and uh, here is the decimal places two so i just remove the true and insert zero then okay so all the data will be appear just like this and i have to create a dynamic dashboard so that's why uh, the percentage uh, of uh, the all the dashboard will be uh, converted into 100 percent so rest of the percentage will be uh, shown or placed in the right side of the cell so just place the equal to sign and one minus just click on the cell and when i click on the cell a big formula will be appearing here i just uh, remove this formula 
and minimally um, i just write down the cell name so here is a v and here is a four so this cell name is a v4 so just replace the v4 so just i place an enter button when i place the enter button the rest of the amount will be shown in here and uh, scroll down right click and scroll down the amount so all the rest of the amount are uh, shown in here so now i will uh, insert the interactive dashboard so then i just click on the insert button then i click on the chat and graphs so from here i just click on the donut chart because i want to show you in a donut chart interactive as an interactive dashboard so i click on the donut chart then i click on the right side right button of the uh, upper key so just click on the right side of the key and then select the data then i click on the add legend or entries so here's the series name there is no series name so i create a values remove these values and i just insert in the one 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 comma one comma one and i just put into the five one so i just uh cut down this uh into uh 20 pieces this donut so i just copy and paste all the format so just i write down the five values and copy here so i just paste 10 15 and 20. so if i i'm right then i just click on the series name so the series um, have been uh, shown in here the chart is uh, uh, do not is, uh, slices into the 20 bits so just I click on the ok button okay when you click on the ok a chart will be appearing here so i just remove the chart title and legend here so click on this chart and here is a plus sign just click on this and remove the chart title remove the legend so here is just a donut so just right click on this uh, in center of the donut just click on the donut chart outside of the donut here is the format button then from the format button i just remove the shape field click on the no shape field outline click on the no outline so here is just a donut will be appearing here so i just copy the donut how much product or how much uh, 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 employees or how much way or how many ways you want to show you so i just want to show, uh, show uh, this chart as a uh, as my uh, product name so apple dell and hp so i just uh, uh, copy the three donut so just copy click on the copy and i just paste down this donut in here another donut i just copy and paste the another donut here where is the three donut now i have to change the donut color shapes so i just right click on the donut i just right click on the donut side and here the data format pointer will be appear so in the fill and line, I click on the final line in the fill so that I create a solid fill. So all the do uh, donut will be a uh, solid fill. But if I click on the just one set, then it will be appear in the one uh, part. So I just click all the donuts. So I have to select all the parts of the donuts. So now it will be selected all the part of the donut. Then I select on the fill and file, then a solid fill and then i change the color so it will be appearance which color i have selected then it's like that click on the donut click on the fill and uh, file then solid fill so i have to change this color so it will be red at the same way i have to click the a third donut so fill and line fill and border just solid fill then i change the um, color of the uh, donut so i just click on the uh, yellow color so 
the th three donuts and all all the three donuts have the different colors so there's three donuts and these are the three different colored donuts so now i just insert the value in this donut just right click on this donut and select the data when you select data just like that a dialog box will be added and then add the legend so when i click on add then a donut will be appeared here so i just put the values of the donut so remove these values and i click on the um, apple 23 and 77 percent just to click on okay okay then a outside donut had been created so i just click on the outside donut right click the outside donut and change the series chart type click the changes series chart type and just series two i will just click mark on the series two so this click uh, series two will be shown and the series one will be hide so just i click on ok button when you click on ok button then all the donut first donut will be appear and second one will be hidden so just like that i want to hide the first second donut first part so i just double click on the, this donut so fill and line so here is no fill when you click on the no fill then the first donut color will be appeared in here at the same way i click on the second donut second slice of the donut then here is a solid fill and i want to color as a white color so when i click on white color then the first fill donut will be appeared and i will increase the transparency rate when i increase the transparency rate that will be visible so i just increase the transparency rate 15 or 16 percent at the same way i click on the second donut then select the data so add the series there's no series name so series value will be the second options of the uh, product so here is the second value of the series option then click ok okay now the second donut had been appeared so right click on the second donut just right click on the second donut and change series chart drive and the dialog box will be appeared and i want to show the second series just click on the second series and okay so the same way i just click on the first slice of the donut of the second donut then no fill so when i click on the no fill the first series of the donut will be appeared so in the same way i have to click the second part of the donut just fill and line then solid fill and i will make it a white color so um, is it uh, default by default it will be selected as white color as previously i have selected as the white color then i just increase the transparency in it 15 to 20 percent that's right then in the third third one i just click on the right click and select the data and i select the data add a series so when I add a series, a value will be appeared in here. So I just select the value of the third product, then OK. So I have to OK it. Then I have to click on the second donut. Inside of the second donut, then right click on the second donut, change series the chart type. Then I want to show the second donut. So just click on the second donut and OK. So it will be here just like that so at the same way i just click double click on the first donut second donut first slice uh, first slice then uh, no fill so when i click on the no fill the first donut will be appearing here so the same way i click on the second donut second slice so i click on the uh, fill and a solid fill as it way of white color will be selected by default so i just increase the transparency rate that's okay now i created the three donut 
and these three donut will be appeared in as our data will be appeared so here the apple dale and hp so all the information gathers and all the donors are uh, look like this but if i want to show the single particular name amon so just click on the amon so the data will be changed because the amon has been uh, sold out the apple 70 percent dale just five percent and hp 78 percent and the same way if i click on the uh salam then okay so just like that all the data will be changes so tamanna just like that all the data will be changes now if i want to group this uh, three donut for example just select first donut press the control and hold then select second donut press and control and hold third donut then I just click on the paste layout and align as in middle align so just to click on middle line all the data will be aligned just like that so in this way we'll create a interactive dashboard and this dashboard will show you all the result available in your informations uh, which will be appeared in the uh, in your paper table so in this way, we will create an interactive dashboard. So now uh, I want to show you uh, what these donut would um, represent it. So if this is the Apple, this is uh, Dale, this is HP. So I want to show you um, this information as a uh, Apple information, this information, Dale information, this information is for HP information. So just a uh, insert click on insert and click the text button so i click the text so i click on the text box so i click on the text box here so just click when the cursor is blinking inside of the text box then i have clicked through the formula bar then i press on the equal to so I just click on the apple so just enter so here the apple is uh, here so just i copy this box and paste this box inside of the second sheet just another box in another sheet so i just change the name so here is the apple i just change the name of the apple So as the same way i just uh, go to the insert and click on the text button and i just insert a text box and it will be um, able as a, a name as a del so just click on the formula bar just click insert and del then press enter so it will be del in the same way i uh, click on the Just I want to change the Dale to HP. So just click on the Dale to HP. Put insert. So here is the Dale. Here's the Apple. Just click the Apple and press the control button and hold. Then click the Dale. Then click the HP. Then I create the shape format. Here is the shape field. And to click the new shape, shape outline, no outline. And I want to click the bold and just click fill. And just like that. So when I click on the data of all, 
then all the data will be appears like this and you click the anika just all the data of anika will be shown in here so here is the apple what percent of apple have been sold by the anika what percent of dell have been sold by the um, anika what percent um, hp sold by the anika so this way i will create a uh, i have to create a uh, interactive dashboard 